Hey everybody, this is Dal Platinum and this is vlog number 8. Oh, so? We just finished our live taping with Absolutely Crystal and it was a blast. I just want to apologize for my brother's attire. He had a chinchilla expire on the top of his head. Anyways, girl, it was a great time on the show. We didn't need the exposure, but girl, you needed us for your ratings because they were terrible. Anyways, you can call us anytime, especially me. Enjoy the interview, guys. It's right here. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Absolutely Crystal Show. On today's show, we're going to be talking about health and fitness. We will be talking about yoga and Pilates and one of my personal favorites, CrossFit. you got to keep it right and tight. And then we'll also be talking about fall fashion. What are some of the things you like to wear for fall? I love to wear scarves and boots. Keeping it cute throughout fall is a must. And lastly, I'm so excited. Double Platinum is in the building. They are the first black and Asian duo group. They've been selling out stadiums around the world. I cannot wait to meet them. Let's enjoy today's show. Thank you, Double Platinum, for coming on my show today. The world has been so excited to get to know you better. They've been wanting to know. Tell us about your journey and making it big in this business. Our journey is filled with a lot of treachery, a lot of backstabbing, you know, each other, just, you know, music executives, really doing everything we can, everything we can to get to the next level because, you know, if you're not famous and rich, what are you? So you backstab? That's been your journey? Yeah. Stealing, just laundering. You just you realize you realize we're live, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Alright. Every artist has their go-to snack while they're on the road. Some like MMs, others like crack okay. What are some of the things that you enjoy while you're on the road? Like, what do you have to have? Like, you just have to have it. For me, I eat fried chicken 24-7 on breakfast, lunch, dinner, and even supper. He's Girl, not lying. I will not stop and can't stop on my fried chicken. He's also quite lethargic because of it. I mean, he's just a sloppy mess in the studio. I think the grease is really getting to him. Excuse me? Me, on the other hand, I believe that the body is a temple, so I'm big on seaweed, I'm big on kale, I'm big on smoothies. Um, and let's not forget that watermelon, because you know, I'm sure you feel the same way. Awesome, okay. Now, you <coughs> both are attractive young men, and I'm pretty sure there's women that flaunt themselves in front of you, throw themselves Everything. at you. So like, what do you like in a woman? Like your fans want to know, like, what do you like? I'll let the Asian go first. Well, for me, I like girls that don't rip my clothes off every time I go, you know, to the store, to, to go whatever I want to go. I like women who would just like me for who I am, you know what I'm saying? And let me do the things that I love, okay? And that girl needs to be a 9.5. Not an 8, not a 7, not a 6. 9.5. Why not a 10? Don't men want dimes? Is this not like... No, no, no. 10 is more like plastic surgery. Oh, so, I so that, that 0.5 is like fake boobs? Or... Uh, yeah, around there, somewhere around there. Okay, 9.5. And what about yourself, Chabon? Well, I just really appreciate the woman, you know, all women. They're just a gift, you know, I think. So I just, uh, I don't have a preference as long as they have a good heart, great hygiene, and uh, long hair that's hopefully theirs. You can't tell these days. Uh, there is that finger test, but yeah, you can't tell these days. But I, I you know, I just want a, a woman with a good heart, a woman that realizes that I will never be there for her. I will never be at home. I am completely in love with my career, don't care about children, and uh, she just has to be you know, okay with that. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. Now, about your music. So you write all of your songs, you produce all of them, and you sing all of them. That's amazing. Yeah. So what inspires you while you're writing? We're true artists. We are not robots that the industry controls. We are artists. We are painters, we're dreamers, 
endures. Go ahead. Okay, I'm just gonna speak something that's less poetic than that. But for me, the things that inspire me is always every single bite of my fried chicken. Just one bite, and I can come up with a track and a lyric that's gonna be a hit record in less than a week. You love that fried chicken, don't you? Like no other. Wow, um, this is the last question. Thank God. What is your favorite track on this album? Like, what is your go-to song? You would just consider it your baby. What song is that? I actually hate when that question is asked because we're artists. We pour everything we have into each song and every song is my favorite because every song is my baby. So there you have it. I don't have a favorite song. Personally, for me, girl, my favorite song is always the one that I make. In Double Platinum, we have all the tracks, but most of the tracks are me. Let's just be frank here. So Jackie Chan, you saying that I don't have any creative input, huh? No, I'm the one that makes the track happen. I'm the one that makes it pop. Oh, I'm gonna show you a papa too. Oh, hell no. You ugly. Get off me. Are you done? And we'll no. pay for all the repairs to the show. Uh, you absolutely will. <sighs> Thank you, I guess, for coming on my show today. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. Thanks. It's taking too long. Where's my damn chicken, man? On my show, I've been having a hundred plus episodes, and we couldn't get Chris Breezy. You couldn't get Breezy. Whew. I'm getting too old.